How to request an SSL certificate. So you've already bought your domain name and set up your TSO host account, yes? Good. Now you need an SSL certificate. Navigate to your TSO host dashboard and click the order new services shortcut. Should be bottom left on your screen. Scroll up the categories list to SSL certificates and select that. On the SSL certificates page, take a moment to check out the features of the different packages to make sure you choose the one that's right for you. For our purposes, we just need the standard SSL certificate. Once you've purchased that, you'll see it appears as active on your products and services page. Selecting it will take you to the Manage Product page, and from here you can log into your SSL control panel. In your SSL control panel, input your domain name as Primary Domain. Click Continue and you'll be given your Private Key and CSR, which stands for Certificate Signing Request. Click Save File to download both. That's important as you'll need to keep these safe. Then Continue to Prove Domain Control. If you already have email set up for this domain, you can use the top option to send you an email. But for this demonstration, we'll show you the bottom option, making a change to the website or adding a TXT record to the active DNS zone. Click Continue and agree the terms and conditions. Feel free to read them first, of course. Check through your certificate details. Some of them will be pending as this is a new certificate. That's perfectly normal. If you reload the page, it'll show you your unique ID. Do make a copy of your unique ID. You'll need to keep this safe too. To validate your domain ownership, you'll need to add a DNS record. If your domain is registered with us and the DNS is managed through the client area, you can add a DNS record this way. Return to your TSO host dashboard. It should still be open in another tab. Select the domain you're working on and this will take you to managing your domain page. To add a DNS record, go over to custom DNS records on the left. On the custom DNS page, scroll down to add a new record. In the type column, select TXT. In the content column, you paste the unique ID you saved earlier. Click add new record and you'll see it appears in the table near the top of the page. Now, go back to your SSL control panel and click the Check for HTML DNS button. This will take a few seconds to update, after which you'll get the green notification that your domain is validated. Your SSL control panel gives you basic control of the validation and issuance process. Installation is not linked to the SSL control panel, but to the hosting control panel. Now, you can download your SSL certificate when you need to install the certificate on your hosting. Just choose the correct server type and follow the on-screen instructions to download the correct zip file. The zip file doesn't include the private key you downloaded earlier, so you will need to keep that safe. If you scroll down, you'll see that you can re-key your certificate. This is important if you've lost your private key or you move your website to a new server. You can also change the site your certificate protects. There is an article about this on the TSO host knowledge base. Just search for change the site that your certificate protects. So there you go. You've purchased your SSL certificate, set it up and validated your domain. Now why not click the subscribe button and hit the little bell logo to be advised when we create more how-to videos looking into more advanced SSL features.